Happy 11-11, guys. I'm happy to be here with you guys today. Sorry, excuse me, if my voice is kind of like a little hoarse. Um, but currently it is exactly 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I am. So I'm most definitely going to be staying up until, at least until around the hours of 11-11 to do my inner work and do my meditation. I would, you know, I want to keep you guys updated on making sure that your thoughts are staying positive and making sure that you're looking forward to um, a great outcome when you're thinking of the things that you want to manifest into your desire and manifest into your reality. I'm sorry. Okay, so I've had a few different requests. I had a few people, people have been asking me to do these type of messages um, for the past couple of months. Um, but I feel like today would be a great day to to start this, okay? So we're going to do a collective message, collective messages. Um, and we're going to start off with the sign of Capricorn all the way through Sagittarius. All right, so... We're going to see how do they feel about you. Okay, so the person that you're thinking of now, currently at this moment, how do they feel about you? Okay, so let's get it started. Let's see what we have. And you guys need to stay tuned. At the end, we're going to pull Love Oracle cards, okay, just to finish it off and get a, you know, a really good collective feel. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what's going on. All right, so we're going to start with Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, someone feels very happy and they feel on top, okay? They feel very successful, like this relationship is going to be successful. Aquarius, we have, they feel, you're, they're feeling that you're making them wait. Like you're putting them on hold. Pisces, we have someone wants a new start with you. Someone wants um, to take some type of risk with you. Okay, someone could be feeling like, you know, you are possibly um, freeing yourself. You're freed. You freed yourself up from something. Aries, we have a closing of a chapter. Okay, and things kind of going in your favor once this chapter closes. Okay, Taurus. Someone is wanting to express how they feel towards you. Um, they want to tell you like their cup is overflowing with love and emotions for you. They want to express how they feel towards you. Gemini, we have a on again, off again type of relationship here. This is like a, this is like a, um, of on again, off again, a temporary type thing for Gemini's cancers we have someone most definitely they're watching you they're spying on you they're trying to get some information on you okay Leo's we have them someone's guard is most definitely up and they're refraining from um they're just holding back okay and they're they're very very guarded towards you Virgo we have um Someone is trying to heal some type of conflict that they are in with you. They're trying to find balance and heal the situation with you. Libra, we have someone is feeling like um, there is a new start, but someone isn't interested or does not want to um, get things going to get this this new start jumping okay or someone that just doesn't feel like the passion the passion isn't there or something isn't the same. Okay, so Scorpio, someone wants to, they want, they see a long-term commitment with you, even possibly marriage, okay? Someone wants to reunite, come together. They want to come together with you. Um, like I said, some of you guys want, they're wanting things to go to the next level. And Sagittarius. Okay, someone is possibly wanting an apology or they want to apologize to you. Okay. All right, so let's do a collective message with the Love Oracle cards, guys. What messages are there collective for my subscribers? For the collective, what messages are there? Woo! All right. <laughs> Very soon, guys. Very, very soon, someone is going to have to make some type of decision. 
um, on whether or not if they're going to put the effort in to make this work, okay? So a decision is going to have to be made soon on whether or not if this is going to work, if someone is going to put forth the effort, okay? We also have separation. For some of you guys, you could be separated from this person, okay? I do see a break period here where there's like disconnect, okay? You guys may be feeling kind of disconnected from each other. And that's because there has been like a separation period. For some of you guys, this could be definitely someone returning from the past, okay? There may have been a separation period. And during this separation period, there could have been some type of deception, okay? So... I feel like some of you guys have are needing to reconnect, okay, or feeling the need to reconnect with this person, okay? Give me one more message for the collective. Ooh. All right, we have love yourself first, okay? So you did most definitely deserve love, okay? You're a lovable person, and you know what you deserve, okay? And... Others are going to love you by how you show them to love you. And that's by you loving yourself first, okay? So keeping yourself first is going to make you more romantically attractive. This may just need to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about exactly what it is. Um, or just to make sure that you two are on the same page, okay? All right, so I hope this message was helpful for you guys. If you like this reading, guys, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment in the comment section, share with your family and friends. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe. Happy 11-11, guys. Until next time, ciao for now.